All right, what has happened, Hot Squad? Torch Talk back into it. Welcome back to the channel. So last week I was sick, so I couldn't do no YouTube videos. I was terribly sick, and it sucked because um, it just hit out of nowhere. I'm had bronchitis, um, by the way, and it was like wow, dude. It was out of nowhere. It happened about last Sunday, I believe so, and I was like, what was going on? So I had um went to the doctor to see what was going on, and that happened, bronchitis. So um, I'm feeling much better now. So. Uh, back with another YouTube video. So today it's time for Hawk Alert news in the movie world. So, Taco Maverick, Taco Maverick has just did the impossible, the unthinkable, the spectacular. Yes, it made a billion dollars. Oh my freaking goodness! Yes, <laughs> it made a billion dollars. Oh man! Oh my God! I seriously, man, it just I'm speechless. I'm speechless, man. Cause wow, dude. Whew. Wow, but anyways, yes, it made a billion dollars um this weekend, and wow, Tom Cruise is on a roll right now. He is having a ball right now with this movie, Paramount. Everybody involved in the movie is celebrating right now. I know they're celebrating. So, Hot Squad, we're going to see how in the world Top Gun Maverick made a billion dollars and is now officially the highest gross movie of the year. And even better... It's not even a superhero movie. It's not even a Disney movie. It is all Paramount here. Like, wow. Freaking wow, Paramount and Tom Cruise. Like, just congratulations. Congratulations. So, Hot Squad, what for do? We're going to de adapt some news to see how in the world Top Gun Maverick made a billion dollars. Let's do this. So, here I am, my squad. I'm here in the, the website Collider. Um, I'm very familiar with them. So, yes, um, Top Gun Maverick breaks records across the board for Paramount Pictures. The film is really taking Paramount's breath away. Nice joke there. Alright, so here we go. The heavens are shining out in Paramount. Today, the production company announced that their epic sequel, Talk of Maverick, surpassed the 1 billion box office milestone worldwide and it's, the, and it's breaking record after record. Due to the massive success, Paramount is boasting the top of the charts for 2022 in the box office, having pulled over 520 million domestically. Dominant and dominating 26% of the market due to large, due in large on the mind blowing success of Maverick. Paramount Pictures is reuniting Supreme and number one in the box office, but number one in the domestic box office for 2022. And this comes as no surprise to anyone who kept up, who has kept up to the overwhelming response to Tucker Maverick, a sequel nearly 40 years in the making. Mm hmm. Sure. It sure was worth the hype. It sure was. It sure was. Having hit landmark after landmark since his initial theatrical release on May 27th, in time for Memorial Day weekend, Top Gun Maverick immediately makes shockwaves as the highest grossing review in Paramount history, as well as the highest grossing Memorial Day review preview in history. On top of that, Maverick marked Paramount's fifth number one movie, um, number one opening for 2022 after Screen 5. I've seen that good movie. Jackass Forever, one of my favorite movies of the year. Hilarious movie, by the way. It's on Paramount Plus. Both of them are Paramount Plus. Lost City, I've not seen that yet, but um, her was pretty good. And Sound Hedgehog 2, great movie. Did my review of it. And yeah, man, I was like, wow, Paramount is on a roll. Paramount is on a freaking roll, man. Congratulations to them. According to reports, over the past five weeks that Maverick has been in theaters, the film has maintained its 5 out of 5 star status at 94% positive ratings, dodging the drop enthusiasm typical of films of subsequent weeks at the release. After the theater slump in the wake of the pandemic, Paramount opts to forego streaming releases, keeping Maverick strictly professional. Thank you, Paramount, for doing that. It, it really deserves to be in theaters. It deserves to be in theaters, okay? <laughs> so, um, claiming it was necessary to experience the sequel theaters, yes. The bold move proved to be a success as the film marked nearly 30% of audiences' return to movie theaters, making it more of a film release, but a film event, yes. Definitely that. In addition to films nostalgia, the film nostalgia just in time for the A's comeback of 2022, Maverick was filmed for and released in 755 IMAX, yeah, 755 IMAX screens across 71 territories. Territories. In the open weekend alone, Maverick soared past expectations and glen, gleaned, well, glen, yeah, gleaned 51.8 million on its opening day. And earned Tom Cruise his best career, it earns Cruise's career his best open. Your best open ever at 248 million worldwide, and the momentum hasn't stopped since, threatening to deplete us from all our flighty puns. 
To date, Maverick has grossed over 520 million domestically and 408 and over 486 million in internationally, rounding out a global cum cumulative of over one billion dollars. Those those numbers earned the film yet another milestone, being the fifth box fifth film in box office history to earn that honor. Join the ranks of films like Jurassic Park, Star Wars: Last Jedi, and Titanic. Paramount's um, president and chief executive officer Brian Robbins, I know he's he's a director by the way, said, "It's rare to get the, get the special kind of alchemy that creates a true event film, and we have been absolutely blown away by the global response to Top Maverick. Thank you for the incomparable to the incomparable Tom Cruise, our visionary filmmakers and talented cast, and our amazing marketing." And distribution teams for a for delivering an absolutely perfect movie and theatrical experience for audiences around the world. The process of Top Gun starring Tom Cruise is at its heart is at its heart a love note to all things America aims to stand on: courage, glory, and sacrifice. Combining unique aerial shots with the '80s rock scene extravagance, scored by Harold Faltermeyer and an unforgettable soundtrack. Yes, definitely that. Um, as well as America's Hot Top Cruise. The film was designed to be an American classic. Three decades later, Paramount presented audiences with a recipe for cinema goal into the reintroduction of the Top Gun universe to new generations. Border new, fa border new faces such as up-and-coming Miles Teller's Spartahead, which, by the way, is on Netflix. Good movie, also directed by Kaczynski, Joseph Kaczynski, by the way, as Lieutenant Bradley um, Cooper Brash Rooster Bradshaw, the son of Maverick's ill-fated pro-pilot Goose. Insecure's Jay Ellis... Great show, by the way, on HBO. Daniel Ramirez, The Falcon Red Soldier, another great show. And Michael Barbero, The, New the Good Cop. Um, I'm, not, I'm not too familiar with it, but I'm definitely the actress Michael Barbero. She plays Phoenix in the movie itself. And Jay Ellis, he plays Payback in the movie as well. Um, with, old f with old familiars like, like Tom, like, like Cruz, Val Kilmer, A's icon Jennifer Connelly. Maverick appeared to a white, yeah, Maverick appealed to a white audience. Overall, the film has earned an A+, plus, a cinema score, garnering a 97% from critics and a near-flawless 99% from critics um, audiences on Rotten Tomatoes. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's that good. <clears throat> Tucker Maverick has exceeded expectations not only with the box office, but has become the highest gross movie film of Cruz's four decades long career. Oscar nominee Cruz has also started in Bubba's classics early in his career, start, since early in his career, soon um, early on his career, star Risky Business, seen that. Top Gun, Rain Man, opposite of um, Dustin Hoffman, A Few Good Men with Jack Nicholson, and the closest he's become to $1 billion with Mission Impossible Fallout at $791 million. I cannot wait for Dead Reckoning to come out. Part 1. Cannot wait. In addition to being Tom Cruise's highest grossing film, Top Gun Maverick is Paramount's largest action epic internationally across 25 markets, including the UK. France, Australia, and more. In its fifth weekend, Maverick opened number one in Korea, and all this without showing in true giant markets, China and Russia. Very impressive. As with Top Gun's, uh, yeah, as with Top Gun, Maver uh, Maverick soundtrack has topped the charts with one number one album, and iTunes the number one soundtrack for Amazon is holding number number two, number two spot album on Spotify, where Top Gun made. May take my breath, Berlin take my breath away, and K. Loggins' Danger Zone, of course. Impossible to get out of our heads. Maverick has Lady Gaga's Hold My Hand, reminiscent of the 80s and 90s ballad Belts and Tunes, carrying to the top 50s list and across the music charts. Tucker Maverick is produced by Paramount, Skydance, Jerry Brookheimer Films, co produced by Skydance, and directed by Joseph Kaczynski. You can see historical film in theaters IMAX. Wow, so much to read. <laughs> So much to read, man. But yeah, man, Top Gun Maverick. Congratulations to everybody who involved in this. This was an incredible movie. Um, five out of five for sure. Definitely going to see it again. So there you have it. Whew. There you have it. Right on to the Danger Zone. Whew. Let's, yeah. Oh, yeah. So there you have it, Hot Squad. That was my Hawk Alert news of Top Gun Maverick reaching a billion dollars. Woo, woo. The need for speed, indeed. Yes. So, um... Yeah, man, congratulations to everybody involved in Top Gun Maverick. It was such an incredible movie. Already, hands down, is my favorite movie of the year. My number one favorite movie of the year. And it's like, wow, dude. See, you see, this is this is how you make a sequel. This is how you make a sequel 
40 years in the making like Jesus, dude. Damn, man. They put so much work in this movie, man. I, I was like, wow, dude. I, I was so I was blown away how really good this movie is. Like, damn, man. Like, wow. This see, this is what this is what legacy sequels need to be. Just an enjoyable movie without no no controversy behind it, no negative t negativity about it. And I'm saying it was like, wow. It was a hell of a ride. Hell of a ride, man. Like, congratulations, everybody involved in this movie, in this this incredible, incredible sequel. So, Hot Squad. I know I'm out of breath right now because I can't talk because that was a long ass article to read. Jesus. So, <laughs> Hot Squad, that is it for today. I just want to go ahead and do some Hot Alert news. I know I haven't, like I said last week, I have not got a chance to do more videos because I, I not only have been sick, but I've been pretty damn busy doing some college stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, 4th of July is coming up. So, hopefully, I will do more videos before that time. So, Hot Squad, if you enjoyed my Hot Alert news, I talk about Maverick reaching a billion dollars, please. Hit that like button, subscribe, share your thoughts. Um, if you've seen the movie yet, if you've not seen it, go see it now. Go see it in the biggest screen possible, okay? It deserves to be in IMAX. It is. Cr it was crazy seeing the IMAX, my God. So, Hot Squad, this is Tar Salt signing off for the day. Stay fired, this guy, and have a blessed day, and have a great 4th of July weekend coming up, and peace out.